is Lee Richard with Tuscaloosa Plumbing. Thank you for joining me. Hit that notification bell and hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss anything in the future. I've got some students that wanted me to teach them tape measure, reading, and I teach two separate ways, okay? What you'll see here is a uh, scaled up version of a tape measure. To teach you the first way, each mark being a sixteenth, this is one sixteenth, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so on until you get to sixteen. Sixteen sixteenths is considered one inch, all right? So one sixteenth, this fraction cannot be reduced any further. However, two sixteenths can re be reduced to one eighth, all right? Three sixteenths cannot be reduced but four sixteenths can, so one fourth. Five sixteenths cannot be reduced, six sixteenths can, three eighths, and so on and so forth. Seven sixteenths not reduced, eight sixteenths is one half, nine sixteenths, ten sixteenths is five eighths, eleven sixteenths, twelve sixteenths is three fourths, thirteen sixteenths, fourteen sixteenths, seven eighths, fifteen sixteenths, uh, and that's what we got. All right, so that's the way if you wanted to count each one of these lines, it would be a sixteenth, and then you reduce the fraction to its lowest term. So the, the second method I teach is the depth of the line method. So we all see that on our tape measures, we'll have the full inch, and right in the center, there'll be one mark that's longer than all other marks. Uh, there's only one of them because there's only one half, okay? So that mark is one half. The second longest line on there is this one. There's actually two of them. We have one-fourth. Any line that this length, we have three-fourths. Notice I'm going by odd numbers on the numerator. That is because odd numbers cannot be reduced uh, in these fractions right here. The next one is considered an eighth right here. So this is one-eighth, three-eighths, five-eighths, seven-eighths. And finally, we have a sixteenth, the smallest increment. 1 16th, as you see here, already reduced to its lowest terms. And remember, we go by odds. 1 16th, 3 16th, 5 16th, 7 16th, 9 16th, 11 16th, 13 16th, 15 16th. Now, the last piece of advice I'll give you is that these smaller increments, they're harder to remember. I get that. So I like to use a combination of both of these methods. So when I know that this is 8 16th, and I know uh, that I'm just shy or just a little bit shorter than 8 sixteenths. Uh, I know, I won't say this is a hair shorter. What I'll say is this is 7 sixteenths, okay? Let's say we had a measurement that was uh, almost, uh, say, 25 inches. Almost, not quite, just a little bit shy of 25 inches. So if this were 25 inches, I know each, each inch is broken into 16 increments. So the 25th inch would be 24 and 16 sixteenths. We don't say that, we say 25 inches. So if it was just shy of 25 inches, I would say that line was right here. I would say it's 24 and 15 sixteenths, okay? If it was this one, I could break this down to eighths, okay? If this is eight eighths, if, if this next whole inch is eight eighths, this increment here is seven eighths, okay? Certainly appreciate you. We'll see you next time later.